What's going on everyone? Welcome to Texas Haunted Channel. Hope everyone's staying safe and warm during these cold times. It's been really crazy here in Texas. Kind of wanted to give everyone an update on what's going on with this setup and uh, what's going on with the weather. So one of the first things I wanted to explain is a lot of people in the northern states that are used to the snow. I grew up in the northern states so I know how the snow is and it's way different here in Texas. Now let me explain what I mean. What I mean is in the northern states we have snow trucks like snow plow trucks we have uh, salt vehicles that salt the roads and you know the people there have plenty of experience on the snow and ice so when you take all that into consideration we don't have snow trucks snow plow trucks here we don't have salt vehicles salt trucks um, there's no salt to buy to lay down so that the ice can melt and people are still driving out in this, which uh, super impressed with the people here in Texas who have adapted to this so quickly. Um, but yeah, it's been crazy cold. We actually lost our internet for three or four days. I've lost track. I haven't been able to do any editing because we've been conserving energy so that the grid could get back on because a lot of people in Texas lost their power. And if you guys lost your power, I am super sorry. Um, I've been doing everything on my end that I could not using electricity because we didn't lose power here for whatever reason by the grace of god uh we didn't and we're thankful but we decided to fire up the fireplace to stay warm instead of using our power because when you use the electricity it draws from the power grid and as you probably know texas has its own power grid we're not tied into the u.s um so it's been putting a, a toll on everything our heaters have been working over time stuff like that so just wanted to get that out of the way um so Stay safe, everyone. Stay bundled up. Stay warm. This will pass soon. Uh, this too shall pass, as the Bible says. So one of the first things I did was I started the engine up, let it run, and held some 40 grit sandpaper up against the supercharger pulley uh, until it was nice and doled up and all that black paint was off of it. Then I stepped up to some 80 grit and got it looking pretty decent with 80 and worked my way all the way up till I got to around 2500 grit sandpaper. After I got it nice and polished up with the 2500 grit I went ahead and added some turtle wax to it to give it a nice little shine. Um, used some steel wool to make that final touch of the polish. As you can see it looks absolutely great nice and shiny better than that black and it gives it a little pop up under the hood. Um, this doesn't do anything for performance in any way, shape, or form, but just figured I'd do it. Might as well. But yeah, that was before the storms had rolled through, um, and I think it looks pretty cool. I've been driving this thing. This thing does absolutely incredible in the snow. Uh, it just handles so well and doesn't want to get stuck. Like, I'm not trying to get it stuck, but I see people sliding all over the place in their four-wheel drives and their two-wheel drive trucks, and their front-wheel drive cars are actually doing pretty decent. Um, but... Yeah, the pilot's been doing freaking awesome through all this stuff. Um, and with the blackouts, it's we've just been trying to stay home, um, stay warm in the house and stuff like that. So I know content's a little slow right now. I apologize for that. Not a whole lot I can do about the weather. Can't control the weather. Uh, I don't have a harp machine like the government does. But anyways, that's a whole other conspiracy. Uh, but yeah, it's running great. It's still doing fantastic. I also changed out the... Thermostat, didn't do a video of that, just changed the thermostat out, painted the valve covers as you can see, uh, got them all prepped up, laid a couple coats of the red down, and reinstalled them. They look so much better with the red, um, at least in my opinion. Now, this is my wife's favorite color, so this is staying that color, but I think it looks pretty cool under the hood now. Uh, but yeah, definitely stuff going to happen to the Civic soon as well. I was thinking about J-swapping the Civic, which would be absolutely amazing, but I'm not financially set for that, so we're going to see what happens, but that, that would be really cool to see a supercharged J-swapped uh, EF. Everyone goes turbo, I know, turbo is where it's at, but I like the supercharger, instant power, it's super fun, I love that whining noise, it's really awesome. Um, you can't really experience much power and everything in this big old pilot, but we will be taking it to the dyno as soon as all of this crap clears up. It'll be on the front wheel drive dyno, so we'll be disconnecting their drive shaft. I just feel more comfortable doing that rather than pulling the fuse. Because electrical systems can malfunction. Imagine this thing up on the dyno and all of a sudden the rear wheels decide to kick in. Uh, that would not be very good at all. So, we're going to see what it makes power-wise. I'm not really shooting for any number. I'm just wanting to know what it makes. 
Um, this thing definitely, definitely is quicker. Has way more torque than it did. I know the videos don't do it justice, but really is pretty impressive machine. But I wanted to get you this video, give you an update as to what's been going on, show you the polished pulley and paint valve covers, and let you know that we're still, still doing good. We just have been uh, huddling up by the fireplace and trying to stay warm, all six of us. We have four kids, me and my wife, so. Just wanted to let you guys know what's going on. There's definitely going to be more videos coming as soon as this crap clears up, so definitely stay tuned. In one of the next videos, my goal is to put this uh, oil cooler, which we'll be using as a transmission cooler. They're basically the same thing. Uh, we've got the line. We've got the Valvoline Max Life. This, some of the people at the Honda dealership actually said this Valvoline Max Life was actually better than the Honda Genuine Transmission Fluid for the Pilot. So I went with that, especially because some of the text that I personally know uh, they actually know what they're talking about. So we'll just be draining the fluid out of the pilot. Um, not flushing it. Do not flush these transmissions. They're low flow transmissions. You do not want to flush them. You'll have issues. That's why this thing's at almost 200,000 miles and it's still going strong. But uh, yeah, I'm going to try to do that in another video. And uh, as soon as I get paid, I'm going to try to get things for the Civic. I know the, the toll of the weather and everything. I don't know exactly how much money we'll have to spend. We've been spending a lot of money just to get some firewood and stay warm because we don't exactly have uh, trees around us so we have to actually pay for firewood which sucks because I prefer chopping firewood lived out in the country too long but yeah anyways I appreciate you guys stopping by stay safe and warm out there and I'll see you guys in the next video and as I like to say God bless stay safe stay awesome <laughs>